Ginger is most famous for its role in preventing and alleviating nausea and vomiting, with so many studies now that there are reviews of reviews, uh, not just in morning sickness, where just a half teaspoon of powdered ginger is associated with a five-fold likelihood of improvement in nausea and vomiting in early pregnancy, but also for motion sickness, and post-operative nausea and vomiting after surgery, and preventing antiretroviral-induced nausea and vomiting during HIV treatment, and as a miracle against chemotherapy-induced vomiting. In this randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial of ginger for breast cancer chemo, chemo-induced vomiting was relieved in all phases, meaning in the acute phase, within 24 hours of the chemo, delayed vomiting two to three days later, and even what's known as in anticipatory vomiting, which occurs before chemotherapy sessions. After a few times, the body knows what's coming and starts throwing up even at the thought of it approaching. This anticipatory nausea is something drugs can't seem to control, even the fancy new anti-nausea drugs that can cost 10,000 times more than ginger, which comes in at about two pennies per dose, and in certain ways may work even better. I've also talked about ginger and pain. An eighth teaspoon of powdered ginger, one penny, found to work as well as the migraine headache drug Imitrex without the side effects. And speaking of pain, ginger may also be effective as ibuprofen for alleviating menstrual cramps. Painful periods are exceedingly common and can sometimes cause severe suffering, yet have been virtually ignored by pain management researchers and practitioners. But four randomized controlled trials have been published on ginger for menstrual pain, and all four showed significant benefit when taken just the first few days of your period. Effective doses range from about a third of a teaspoon a day to a full teaspoon a day, but since they all seem to work about the same, might as well just start with a penny a day dose. And as a side effect, side benefit, um, it can dramatically reduce heavy flow, which is actually one of the most common gynecological problems for young women. We know that there are pro-inflammatory foods that may contribute to heavy menstrual bleeding, so how about try an anti-inflammatory food like ginger? Heavy menstrual bleeding is defined as more than a third of a cup, or 80 milliliters. All of the study subjects started out much higher than that, but just an eighth teaspoon of powdered ginger three times a day, starting the day before their period, cut their flow in half. And it seemed to work better each month they tried it, providing a highly effective, cheap, easy-to-use, safer treatment for menstrual blood loss and pain. So, works for migraines and menstrual cramps, but uh, just because it's effective for many types of pain doesn't mean it's necessarily efficacious for all pain. For example, how about intestinal cramps? Is ginger effective for the treatment of irritable bowel syndrome? And the answer is yes, dropping IBS severity by over 25%, but so did the placebo. So the real answer is no. Ginger is not effective for the treatment of irritable bowel syndrome. Yet, ginger is the one of the most commonly used herbal medicines for irritable bowel syndrome. Silly people, don't they know it doesn't work any better than a sugar pill? Or, from another perspective, smart people using something that offers relief 53% of the time and doesn't risk the adverse effects of some of the other drugs, uh, some of the drugs, period, uh, which, um, with which doctors may harm one person for every three they help.